Good morning, friends. It's Mrs. Wise here to talk to you today. I am happy to be here with you today. I think that um, I'm so proud. I've been talking to lots of families and I'm so proud of the hard work that you're doing at home. My students that are in my class, I get to talk to your moms and dads and mamas and nannies and aunts and uncles sometimes. And I wanna let you know that you should keep doing what you're doing. Keep working hard, okay? Because everything that you're doing matters. Your brain is growing. And that's what we want to see, okay? To my friends that are not in my class, like maybe Matthew and Christopher and Michael and friends like that, I want you to know that Mrs. Wise is so proud of you, okay? You're doing this because it's important to you and because it's kind of fun. So keep working hard. You make me so proud. All right. So here we are today. Um, I know that um, this morning when I was waking up, I was feeling, let me see. Um, sometimes I have to look and see exactly how I was feeling. I was just feeling okay today. I wasn't feeling super excited or I wasn't feeling super happy. I was just kind of, you know, okay. I woke up and I'm like, all right, what do I got to do? <laughs> so this is why I was feeling okay and always, always proud of my students and always, always proud of, proud of my friends that come join us on our videos. Okay. So I know that some of the ways that I can keep my energy in balance and my feelings in balance are to um, look at some books. I do that sometimes. Sometimes I ask for help. Remember yesterday I had to ask Sabrina for some help to find me a ruler and she went and found me a ruler. That was so nice of her. Sometimes we have to do that. We have to say, you know what, could I have a hug? Or maybe if you build something or do a puzzle together, that can be, or even alone. Sometimes having some alone time is a good thing. Yeah. So these are some good ways that we can keep our feelings and our energy in balance. Exercise is always a great thing to do. Getting outside, going for a walk. So I hope you, got, you guys get a chance to do that today. All right. Um, let's, I'm going to use the strategy of looking at a book with you today. I like this one. And I know that we're working on, we've been thinking a little bit about the 10 ways that we can soar through life. You're great no matter what. Never give up. Um, be brave and try different things. You have a choice. You're the boss of your body and the boss of your feelings. So make sure that you make good choices. Let's try not to worry too much in this world, okay? Um, peace begins with you by enjoying what you're doing. And healthy me means try and take good care of your body. Creativity is the key. That was yesterday. Number nine was try and be creative. Nobody can create things like you can. Oh, my goodness. We're on the last one. It's called What Can You Give? Mrs. Wise has to open the window. It's like wicked hot in here. Hold on a sec. So, yeah, what can you give to this world? Let's see. Hmm. What do you have to offer this world? Let's see. I'm gonna open two windows. Mrs. Wise forgot to open the windows before we got started. But sometimes if I don't open the windows, it gets super stuffy in here. There, now I'll have a nice breeze that'll keep me happy. All right, what can you give? I don't know, let's look and see. Number 10, where are you? Ah, here it is. What can you give? What is a life Full of meaning and purpose, one that's truly limit free. It's when you learn to look outside yourself and not always think, what about me? It means seeing goodness and beauty everywhere you turn and taking every experience in life as a chance for you to learn. It's being at peace every day with a respect for all things that live and not wondering what you can get, but wondering what you can give. That is beautiful. Now that's something that I know, you know what, this is something that children are very, very good at. Sometimes grown-ups need some of these reminders. Sometimes grown-ups need to remember to think about other people and not just themselves, right? But I know that kids, I see kids sharing all the time. I see kids thinking of each other all the time. So sometimes I think that grown-ups could maybe learn a little bit from children when it comes to this one. 
So um, I want you to continue to think about what you can give to other people. And I know that you make such good choices in this world. So keep doing what you're doing, okay? Let's read and see what it says. Dane asked my grandpa, what brings you joy? I answered, candy, of course, or a brand new toy. He smiled at me and said, I'm sure that is true, but there is much more that can bring joy to you. Love and friendship and learning to give will make your life fulfilling and a pleasure to live. Yeah, I know friends in my class, I know that friends are very, very good at sharing. I remember Torin, he would do some great sharing with his toys when he would earn a break. And I remember that my friend Grayson would share when he would be coloring. He liked to do some coloring in my class. He'd share those markers so nicely. I'm thinking, let me think, James would share those Lincoln, Lincoln Logs with his friends. And Kellen, he would share his information about planets with his friends. He would tell people what he thought about things. And Liam loved computers, and he would share all that information too. So good. And Rossward, Rossward, he had so many good ideas when it came to doing puzzles and doing some pretend play with the puppets. He loved doing those things. And I know Emmanuel. Emmanuel, he would always, always want to tell us what he was thinking. He would think about his friends and make sure that he, um, that their friends had a close spot by him. He would say, please come sit with me, right? So yeah, it's just the sweetest thing. So friends are always, always thinking of each other too. It's important to think about yourself. Don't worry about that. Some people say, always think about other people. But if you don't think about yourself a little bit too, then you don't have enough to give. So make sure you take care of yourself first and then take care of other people, right? It's important in life. All right, let's think about our whole body listening. Show me those watching eyes. Listening ears. Bye, boys. Come quiet body. Ready, hand? Awesome. All right, let's do it. Um, I am going to click us on over to our May info here. All righty. It is May still. It's still May. This was, has been a very long month. So let's see. I'm knowing here, do you see that our calendar looks like it's filling up here? We only have a few more days of May, and then we'll switch to a new month. Um, let's count today. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight. 29. Today is the 29th day of May. Could we have counted on from a different number? Could we say 25, 26, 27, 28, 29? Sure. We don't always have to start way at the beginning, do we? Okay. It's the 29th day of May. Um, what comes after a butterfly? What do you think? Look at our pattern. Take a minute. Look at our pattern and tell me, what do you think comes after a butterfly? Do you know? Did you see a flower? I think you're right. I think after butterfly comes a flower. I can look back at my pattern and see that. Butterfly flower, butterfly flower. Yep, you're right. All right, let's look at this. We'll put this Wednesday away. Yes, whoops. I moved that flower by mistake. Sorry, guys. Yesterday was Thursday. Today is Friday. And tomorrow will be... Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Tomorrow will be Saturday. So no video tomorrow, right? Because it'll be the weekend. I'll do another one on Monday. All right, what is this flower doing way up here? Oh, that belongs there. Okay, that's good. So today is the um, uh, Friday, May 29th, 2020. I think we're ready for an awesome day today. All right, warm up. Get those hands ready. Is it okay to get a little silly with Mrs. Wise? I think so too. Ready? January, February, March, and April, May, June, July, and August, September, October, November, December. These are the months of the year. Good job. 
I wanted to pop over here for a second. Mrs. Wise has a funny thing. Look at this cool thing. It's a Clifford. See him? He does those stories, you know? I'm just going to take all the pieces off here. Hold on one second. Uh, uh, uh. No sneaky peeky. Okay. So this one talks about the four seasons. Look, and I have a bunch of Cliffords over here. Look at these. Aren't they funny? Can you see? Yeah. So I thought it could be fun for us to look. This talks about the season of spring. See, this, this, this looks like a springtime picture. I see flowers are growing and birds are up here in the, um, in the tree, maybe a nest, right? Yeah, this is spring. So Mrs. Wise thought I would just kind of create a spring picture here. Here's Clifford on his bike. <laughs> Isn't this cute? And maybe, what else could we add here? Maybe a bone for him here? Sure. I have been seeing some squirrels up in the trees. Let's see. Are there any more good pieces? Sometimes they're stuck together. Let me just double check, make sure there's no more pieces here. Dum, 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 dum. Uh huh. I did miss some. Okay. So we could put some clouds up in the sky. So pretty, right? So the sentence I want to think about for Clifford for this one is um, Clifford, I'm going to think of a story about this one. I'm going to think about a beginning, a middle, and an end about Clifford. One day, so at the beginning, I want him to be thinking about riding his bike. And then maybe he got on his bike and then maybe he um, rode through, maybe he would ride through this puddle. Would that be cool? Okay. So first he got it, he, he thought about riding his bike. Then he got his bike and then he rode through the puddle. Ready? One day, Clifford was um, thinking about going outside. He wanted to go get his bike. So he went to the driveway because that's where he keeps his bike. And he got on his bike, and his bike has training wheels. See those training wheels in the back? That helps to keep him safe. So some kids, when they're just learning, have those training wheels. And sometimes as you get a little bit better and you practice and you get a little bit bigger, those training wheels come off because you learn how to balance on that bike, okay? So Clifford hasn't learned that yet, so he still has his training wheels. So first he got his bike, then he's, he got on the bike, and he started to ride. And then guess what happened next? He rode right through a puddle and he made a big splash. That's a fun story. So when I think about stories, I think about the beginning, the middle, and the end. Those three parts make a really great story. The middle, when you do the, the beginning and then the middle part, you can have lots of middles. Like you can have four different things that happen in the middle and then something happens at the end. See? So cool. All right, I just thought you'd like that because I kind of do. I'm just gonna throw these pieces down here. Dum -de -dum -dum -dum. I just thought it was kind of cute. All right, let's see. Let's pop back over to our calendar. Okay, so it is May. It's, it will be June next, right? All right, let's add a cube for today. And we'll erase that zero. Doo -doo -doo -doo. And we have one group of 100, one, two, three, four, five groups of 10, and one extra one. So we need to write that number for the, uh, write the, the number one. What's that number poem for one? Do you remember? Straight line down, and then we're done. That's the way we make a one. Straight line down, then we're done. That's the way we make a one. I'm just going to fix this five poem here. There we go. Perfect. So this is the number 100, 110, 120, 130, 140, 150, 151. Okie dokie, let's add a star here and we'll count by tens. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, let me hear you. 90, 100, 110, 120, 130, 140. 150, 151. We'll bring our shadow box over here from 150 to 151. That is how many days I have known my students, 151 days. These stars represent one star is, is for one day that I've known my students. So every star is equal to one day. 
I've known my students for a lot of days. If you go to school and you've known your, your teacher, you've known your teacher for probably around this many days. That's a lot of days. And we get to know each other and build relationships when we spend time together right? And there's lots of ways to spend time together. We can do it this way, like on the computer, or we can be in, in the classroom. But right now, we have to follow the rules and be safe, right? But connecting with people, we can do it in lots of different ways. That's one thing I've learned for sure. Okay, I'm going to add a tally mark here. And then instead of counting by fives today, do you notice that I made groups here? So I have one group of five, two groups of five, that makes 10. So I can say 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120, 130, 140, 150, 151 days I've known you. Okie dokie, I don't want to do this. I just don't. Do you want me to do it? All right, I'll just do it one time. I do like that noise. Listen. Do you hear it? It's like it's really rolling. All right, they want us to count five, well, all right, we're going to count three groups of 10. I'll do it. I know, Mrs. Wise, don't give up. It's just I got to move all these. Maybe I can move them with my finger. I can. On my computer, I can touch it with my finger. Okay, so it says we need three groups of 10 just to practice. This is a practice page. One, two, three groups of 10. So if we had three groups of 10, we could say 10, 20, 30. These just practice. But we practice so much anyways when we think about counting, don't we? Should we check out the weather next? Is that what we have to do? Yeah. Okie dokie. Let's go. Come on. <laughs> la, 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 la. Okay, what's it like outside today, my friends? Looks kind of cloudy out there. Cloudy and windy. Looks like it did rain a little bit, but it's not raining right now. And then I heard that later it might get a little sunny, but right now it's cloudy. Ready? So we'll put a cloud for today. La la la. You know what? The sun's kind of coming out right now. So I'll put this sunny cloudy guy. And then I'm also going to put a very little bit of wind. So I can make that windy guy a little smaller. There he goes. Awesome job. Let's stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Very nice. Check in with Maurice, see what he's doing. He's hanging out back here. Isn't he cute? Hello, Maurice. Hi, how are you guys doing today? If you're doing good, give me a thumbs up. Oh yeah, oh yeah, it looks like you're doing pretty good out there. <laughs> okay, keep doing good listening, okay? Mrs. Wise is very proud of you. Okay. High five, boop. <laughs> Maurice is so silly. All right, let's think about clicking over here. To, there's my coffee. Mm -hmm. Let's check out our plants today. All right, so this is our bean plant. And Mrs. Wise is going to use the ruler. I can't believe how big it is, first of all. And this guy, if you notice, look at this. My plant now, it grew up. But now it's kind of growing out a little bit. Do you see over here? It was looking for the sun because I had it in the window and I think it was kind of reaching out for the sun. Let's measure and see. I'll use my ruler here to measure how tall the plants are getting. Yesterday they were 10 inches tall, the tallest one. Okay, let's see. Which one's the tallest? Hmm. Maybe this one is the tallest. Oh yeah, this guy. Okay. Let me get in there. How tall are you now? Oh my gosh. Ten and a half inches. They grew a half an inch overnight. 
They're getting bigger and bigger. Pretty soon, Mrs. Wise is gonna have to put them outside because it'll be too, this pot is gonna be getting too small for them, okay? But look at our little guy even is getting bigger here. See this little one? And then we have another sprout. Oh no, it's not sprouts, little piece. Okay, so yeah, we've been taking such good care of our plants. And I know that plants need some special things to live. Do you remember what they need? Yeah, they need sunlight, they need water, they need some dirt, they need some air. And my friend Emmanuel, he said that they also, that we need our videos to learn also. I think that's a really good idea, Emmanuel. Thank you for sharing that. All right, so now let's see. Oh, I have this cool, I found this book. And I, oh, guess who's here? I think our, our um, trash guys are here. Hold on one second. I wonder if you can see them. Oh. I don't know if we can see them right now. I think they're at the neighbor's house. Remember how when the recycle people would come to our classroom, we would watch them dump all the recycle papers into the big truck, and then they would wash those and reuse them? Can you see out there? Can you see? Yeah, they're gonna take, I think that's gonna, they're taking my trash right now. I'm so grateful if they take my trash away. Yeah, there we go, driving away. I always thought that would be kind of a cool job to be able to help people that way. And I also like how sometimes they get to hang on to the back and hold on to the truck. I thought that was really cool. All right, One Bean. This is by Ann Rockwell and the pictures are by Megan Halsey. Okay, One Bean. I wonder what the story will be about from the title. What do you think? That kind of looks like us. We had our, our watering can and we have our pot with our plant in it. And this is right where Mrs. Wise keeps them in the, on the windowsell. Let me just scoot this over a smidge so we have enough room. Okay, this is just exactly what we did. Exactly what we did. I put it on a wet paper towel. I covered it with another wet paper towel. Soon its skin had turned all wrinkly. We did that together. I love this. I found this when I was in the classroom, this book, I love it. My bean had gotten fatter too. I think it got too fat for its skin because the skin split. This meant it was time to plant my bean. We did that too. We waited actually until he had a little sprout, didn't we? We did, I think. Look at, there they are. They got the soil. Looks like there's a boy and a girl. Maybe they could be brother and sister or just good friends. I don't know. I filled a paper cup with black potting soil. That reminds me of my black pot potting soil in here. See it inside there, that dirt? Yeah. Then I laid my fat wrinkly bean in the cup and covered it with soil. Yeah, there they are, planting their seed, seed putting it in the dirt. I watered it when the soil was dry. Even though I couldn't see my bean hidden under the damp black soil, I watched for it every day. We did that too. <gasps> then one day, just like in the story of Jack and the Beanstalk, something wonderful happened. A greenish white stalk poked up from the soil. My bean was dangling from, it, from the end of it. Soon, two leaves grew on my bean plant. These were shaped like Valentine's Day hearts. Do you see? They do look like hearts. They're heart-shaped. More green, heart-shaped leaves sprouted. My bean plant grew bigger and bigger. It needed a bigger place to live and grow. So yeah, that's what's happening to ours now because look at this is so big. Pretty soon we have to put this outside because we want to make sure it can grow big and healthy. Right, guys? But look at little, medium size, bigger. Okay, this is what we'll have to do next. I filled a flower pot with potting soil very gently, very carefully. I took my one bean plant with its bright green leaves and roots spreading through black moist soil out of the paper cup and I planted it in a flower pot where it could stay. Sunshine shone on it and made my bean plant grow some more. I'm gonna to have to find a good spot outside. I have got a 
big, big pot on my porch I could put these bean plants in. Maybe we'll do that. One day I saw lots of little green bumps on my bean plant. Those little green bumps were buds. Let's see if we have any green bumps yet. Mm. Let's look. Oh, this could be a bump right here. Could be a bump. I'm looking, I'm looking. I'm looking to see. I don't think I see any bumps yet. Not yet. Okay, so that's what we should be looking for next. Those green bumps were buds. Oh, that's when the flowers will come. The buds burst open with lots of white flower blossom and lots of white flowers blossomed among the green, green leaves. But I think we'll have to watch for that next. When the white flowers fell off, tiny, tiny bean pods huh, hung in their place. Before long, there were lots of bean pods growing on my beautiful bean plant. So good. Those tiny bean pods grew bigger. One day I picked one. I split it open and looked inside. What do you think I saw? I saw some smooth and shiny beans shaped just like the one bean that had started it all. See it? I picked a few pods and ate the beans that grew inside them. Cool. And they were very, very good. That is awesome. Wow, that's a really great story because it reminds me of things that we do. Sometimes I like to read stories about stuff I'm doing. If I'm learning to ride my bike, I like to read stories about bike riding. If, I like to, if I'm learning how to skateboard, I like to think about maybe reading a book about skateboarding. Well, today, because we've been growing these plants, I thought we should read a story about growing those plants. So good. Okie dokie. And so now we remember in our life cycle, right? We had the seed and the sprout, then the seedling, and then now we're waiting for that plant to flower, and then we'll get those beans growing, right? So cool. All right, let me just move this over here so I don't lose it. Okie dokie. What are we doing next? Oh, I have to get my... Uh, what did I want to do next with you? Phonics. I was going to do something different though. What did I decide? Mrs. Wise was going to do something silly and I forget what it was. I think I will just do my Italian phonics for today. Is that what I was going to do? Mrs. Wise has to go get my phonics. Sorry guys. Where is it? It's usually hiding over here. Oh, phonics, where'd you go? Nope, it's not there. Oh, I remember what I wanted. Can you wait one second? Because I had something fun I want to show you. Stay there. Okay, okay sorry about that, guys. Mrs. Bonds had to go get something. This is what I wanted to do with you. <laughs> Sorry, usually I have it all ready, don't I? Not today. today Mrs. Wise had to go get something because I brought this from my classroom and I thought that this could be something, oopsie, something fun for us to do. So I was gonna look for something because I know we've been talking about, well, let me start here. Okay. So this is called the Anne family. We're gonna make some rhyming words today. They're all gonna to end in Anne. Anne, 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 Anne. Okay, that's good to know. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Okie doke. It's my dry erase marker. Okay, we're good to go. So, oops. what if, I get some sounds. What sound does this make? It says, er. So what if I put it here? Er, an, ran. What does that word say, boys and girls? Ran, cool. All right, let's see what other sounds I have here. How about this one? What sound? Good. 
pan, pan. What word is that? Pan. So we could say, er, ah, we could say, er, ah, mm, ran. We could say, p, ah, mm, pan. We could do that. But if we know that this ending sound says an, then we don't have to keep on sounding it out. We know it. All of these are going to say an, right? So we can just think about the beginning sound says p, an. Let's find another one. I got one. What sound? Mmm, good. Mmm, an, man. And I could even do it like this. Mmm, an, man. I like that. Okay. Let's see what else I can find. How about. I'm looking. <laughs> There's so many letters here. Hold on, wait a minute. I'm looking, I'm looking. You guys are waiting nicely. Thank you for that. Oh, I found it. I was looking for a special one. What sound? Good. So I could say, fan, fan. So we have ran, pan, man, fan. What else? Oh, how about this one? Sound? T. Good. T. An. Tan. That's like a color, isn't it? Like that light brown color. Let's do one more. How about... How about... Oh. Pull, 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 and plan. That's a good plan. All right, I'm going to pick one. Um, maybe I'll just write the words below for today. We could also practice sentences here, but maybe I'll just write these words just like they are. So I'm going to start with this one. Er, and I'm looking at those words and those letters and they all look like they're short they're small letters to me i don't see any hanging letters there do you or and i don't see any tall letters so i'm going to think about where they go on my line er, and, mm. so in the word pan i see p is a hanging letter so it's going to go below my line and then we have two small letters so watch see how it hung down below my red line there Eh, mm. How about man? Do you see any, any tall letters or any hanging letters we need to think about? I don't think so either. So they're all just going to go underneath my belly button line. So I call it my belly button line because look at this. If I have got, well, it just, it just. So my, let's think about man. Mm. Eh, mm. Man, man. What's our next word up here? Do you remember? Fan. Okay, fan. I see the F is a tall letter, so it's going to go way up here. Look at. And. Mm. How about tan? Do we have any tall letters in tan or hanging letters? Yep, that T. Good job. T. T. A. N. Mm. Tan. How about plan? I see a hanging letter and a tall letter. P. O. A. N. Plan. Look at that. So when we think about writing our words, we have to think about which letters are tall letters, which letters are um, small letters, and which ones are hanging letters, right? because that's how we can make them correctly. This looks beautiful. So we'll practice this sometimes, because I think it's a really good practice. Let's just say those words one more time. One more time. Ran, pan, man, fan, tan, plan. Rhyming words, and family. Love it. Super good. So thank you for bearing with me while I went to go get that, because I think that was super fun. All right, what's next for us today? 
Oh, I want to do some sight words with you. Let's do it quickly quick. I just have to get to it here. Let's go out of there. Yeah, we'll save that. Sure, no problem. Do, 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 do. It's saving. One minute, please. Okay, and then I want to go to here. All right, you ready for it? Um, more minute. Okay, so let's think about doing our, I want to do our sight words. Thank you for waiting. Ready to play our sight words? Here we go. This is the word blue. Can you say blue? Blue, it's a color word, blue. This is why I said, I see a blue bird. Could you say that? Good. Did you see I have an uppercase letter at the beginning? I have a, a special mark at the end that makes it a beautiful sentence, right? And did you see I have some small letters? Some tall letters, I don't have any hanging letters here. Okay, let's do another one. This is the word he. Could you say he, please? Good. He is my friend. Let's say that, you can say that one now, ready? Yeah, he is my friend. I see some uppercase letter, I see an uppercase letter at the beginning. I see a mark at the end. That means it's an awesome sentence. It's one complete thought. And then I see that we have some tall letters and we have the Y as a hanging letter. Look at that. F is a tall letter. See how it's bigger than the rest? He is my friend. Super. C, you say it. Good. I see the ocean. Your turn. Very nice uppercase letter at the beginning. Period at the end. Notice the upper, the tall letters and the small letters here. I don't see any hanging letters, do you? Three, you say it. Good. I see three cats, you say it. Awesome, I see an uppercase letter at the beginning. I see a, a special mark at the end. Sometimes it'll be a period like this. If I had a question, like, do you see three cats? Then that would be a question mark. But this one just says, I see three cats. This sentence reminds me of a cat that lives in my neighborhood. He's the cutest cat I've ever seen. And he, well, except for my own cats, because we have Mr. Pickles and Mina that live here. But then this cat, he likes to come over and he, he'll come over and you can pet him. And he likes to, um, likes to roll around on the grass. He's just so cute. I like to see him outside. All right, we'll do one more. What? Your turn. Nice. What is your favorite color? Oh, there's that question mark at the end because it's looking for information. So if I'm saying to you, what's your favorite color? And then you would give me an answer, then I need to have that question mark at the end. I see an uppercase letter at the beginning, a mark at the end. I see lots of tall letters in this sentence. And I see some hanging letters too and some small letters. All right, that's gorgeous. All right, um, I have a book that's called Jack and Lily Go to the Park. And for my students that are gonna be at my next Google Meet that I still need to schedule, but for the next Google Meet, I thought we could talk about this book a little bit. Would you like that? It's all about going to the park. Look, there's Jack and there's Lily. I love this book. Let's look and see what they're up to. Look, there's my name there, Wise. That's how. I used to mark all my books, so I knew which ones were mine, but now I have way too many books. This is why I stopped doing that. Okay, ready? Oh, this book belongs to the Wise family. This must have been a special book to us. Jack and Lily go to the park. I wanna make sure you can see this whole thing. Hello, I'm Jack. Hello, I'm Lily. Okay, Jack has a ball. Lily has a kite, so we can say, he has a ball, she has a kite. On sunny days, we go to the park. So it looks like there's Jack, there's Lily, they have their ball, 
Where are they going? Do you know? It tells us here, we go to the park. Oh, okay. Look, there's a slide and some swings. I wonder what you would do if you got to the park. Where would you go? Would you go to the slide or would you go to the swings first? Or maybe would you just run around on the grass or play with the ball? There's so many choices of things to do at the park. And maybe this could be their mom or their mama or their aunt or their nanny. I don't know who this lady is. It doesn't tell us. Could be anyone. We swing on the swings. Higher, higher. So who is sitting on the yellow swing? Do you remember? Is it Lily or is it Jack that's on the yellow swing? Yep, Jack is on the yellow swing. So who is on the orange swing? Is it Jack or is it Lily? Yeah, Lily. So what could we say? He is on the yellow swing and she is on the orange swing. We slide down the slide. We. Oh my goodness, look at this awesome book. There's so much going on in these pictures. So what season does it look like to you here? Does it look like winter in the story? Nope, you're right. I don't think it's winter here because I see butterflies are out and bees and I'm noticing the kids' clothes. I'm noticing they don't have on mittens or boots or winter hats. But they do have long sleeves on. So do you think this could be like, maybe spring, the beginning of spring before it got too hot? Maybe. So I wanna know, who is at the bottom of the slide? After you slide down, that's called the bottom. So who's at the bottom of the slide? Yep, it's Jack. And who is at the top of the slide waiting at the top? Who's at the top? That's a safe thing to do. You wait at the top until the other person gets off so you don't slide down and bump into them, right? So it looks like Lily is at the top of the slide. She's waiting. She's waiting there for Jack to finish up. Okay, so what will she do next, do you think? Looks like she's already climbed up this, the ladder, the stairs. Now she's waiting. Then what will she do? Yeah, I think she's gonna slide down too, you're right. We don't know who this person is. We haven't met this, this friend yet. I wonder. Do you think they're, that this girl is friends with Jack and Lily? Maybe. We don't really know yet, do we? Oh, look, there's a boy over here and he's walking his dog. I wonder. I wonder if Jack and Lily know the boy, if they're friends. We don't know yet, do we? Let's see. Lots of animals live in the park. Tweet, tweet. Which ones can you see? What animals do you see in the park? Mm -hmm. Yep, I see the birds. Look at this bird is just sitting and this bird is flying. I see a bunny. I see a squirrel and a butterfly. Wow, I wonder which one you like the best. Maybe we'll talk about that soon. Quack, quack. We have some friends who swim in the on the pond. There are some ducks on the pond and a frog on the pond. Have you ever seen ducks in the water anywhere? I wonder where, if you have. I wonder maybe a pond meadow or somewhere different, if you've ever seen those ducks. So cool. Sometimes we play catch with our ball. Oh yeah, we like to play catch at recess, don't we friends? So here's, here's Lily and here's Jack. They're playing catch. And to play catch, you need to be looking at the other person to make sure that they're ready when you throw it. And you, and you can say, catch! And then the other person will know that you're ready to throw, All right? Oh, look at Lily's got her hands out and ready. Her eyes are looking, and then she'll catch that ball. Sometimes we fly our kite. Up, up, up! Flying kites can be so much fun. I bet they're gonna take turns with this kite because it looks like there's just one kite there but two kids. So maybe they'll take turns and share. That would be a great idea. There are a lot of dogs at the park. Aw. There was the friend that we saw on the other page. And then look, there are other dogs too. And lots of pretty flowers too. Best of all, there's ice cream to buy. 
That's why we like going to the park. <laughs> I wonder, I wonder what kind of ice cream you would get if you were at the park. So cool. All right. So these are some of the things that we saw at the park. I love that story. It reminds me of going outside and thinking about um, playing in the yard. So some of these things you can do on the, if you have swings in your yard, you could do that outside, right? Some of these things, flying a kite, playing with a ball, all that stuff. I've been watching lots of dogs walking by my house lately too. All right, I think all we have left to do is just talk about how people change and grow. This is our, um, our whole social studies, all about people. We've already talked about that you are super important and that you're unique. No one else is just like you. Every family is different, right? Some families have got lots of kids. Some families don't have lots of kids. Some people have grandparents that live with them. Some people have maybe a mom and a mama. Some people might have a mom and a dad. Some people might have a dad and a daddy. Lots of different things, right? And what's important about families is that there's love in your family, right? So... People grow and change. People grow in many ways. People change in many ways. People never stay the same. Look at the red line. It shows how tall Roy was at three. Now Roy is six. Which line shows how tall he is now? So this is the boy named Roy. And they measured it. It looks like they have like a piece of paper here. They measured it. He was, he, when he was three years old, that's how tall he was. And then when he was four years old, he got bigger. Five years old, he got bigger. And now, all the way up to here, he's six years old. He's grown a lot, hasn't he? Really nice. Families learn. You learn new things. Your family helps you learn. Your family learns from you, too. Do you think you could teach your family about the bean plant that we, that Mrs. Y sent um, some bean seeds to her students? Maybe you could teach your family about the things that you're learning about planting, right? Oh, look at, they have roller skates on. This must be an old book. Look at the old kind of roller skates they used to wear. Yeah, so good. All right, I'm going to stop right there. I think that is quite enough for today, my darlings. All right, listen, you did a great job today. You make me proud. Every day that we're together, you make me smile. Mrs. Wise and Maurice, I'm very proud of you. So what I'd like for you to do is be nice to your friends, be nice to yourself, hug your family, love you bunches, and I'll see you Monday. Love you. Maybe if this was stop. One minute, Maurice. There we go. Love you, see you later.